If you're a design agency, freelancer, or someone that works with WordPress, definitely you're going to need these two services that I'm going to talk about today. So there's ZipWP and there's also InstaWP. Now, both of these create websites super fast. But the problem is these two products are so identical that sometimes it's very difficult to choose one over the other. So in today's video, I'm going to compare both ZipWP and InstaWP. Okay, so let's see how easy it is to create our websites with both platforms. So here in ZipWP, I can just come over here and click on create new. Now there's a few options here. We can uh, create a blank website or a complete website. And there's also another option here for a custom site with AI. But for now, let's just do a blank one and let's see how easy it is this is going to set up. So I'm gonna call this a test website. So there's also an option here to set it up as a WordPress multi-site. Now over here on the right, we also have an option for Blueprint. But anyway, let's just do a basic site. So I'm gonna click on Create Site. And in a moment, in fact, there it is. So now I can do a one-click login and a login to my WordPress website. So it's that simple. Now let's do the same on uh, the other platform, which is InstaWP. So over here, you can see this is our site and everything was done super fast. Now over here on InstaWP, we can do the same by clicking over here on add new. And this time around, there are quite a few options. And this is something unique to InstaWP. We have these uh, plugins that are pre-selected for you, which you can go in and choose. So let's say, for example, under SEO, you want to add all-in-one SEO. You can just uh, select it like that. You can go on uh, forms, choose your contact forms, and so on. And then once you've selected all these, all you have to do now is to come over here to create a site. So in my opinion, this is also very good because some of these plugins that are suggested here are plugins that most websites want to use. So if you're going to create a website, this makes the process much, much easier because with uh, zip wp you would have to go in and start adding these plugins manually okay so let's create our website so i'm just going to call this uh, test website and then if i need to reserve it i can click on reserve over here so let's go ahead and click on create now notice that we also have an option from template here so this is uh, taking a bit longer now already i can tell that zip wp was a bit faster okay so it's done now I can also use magic login to log into my website, just like what we had with uh, ZipWP. So just by comparing both of these, I can see that straight away, um, ZipWP is much faster to create the website as compared to InstaWP. Okay, so let's talk about um, other features here. So here with um, ZipWP, we can add our team members. So I can come over here, click on invite, and I can add people to my team. Over here on InstaWP, we can do the same. If I come over here to my team, I can go in and also add my teams. So that's pretty straightforward. You can see over here, I can click on this gear icon, and this will take me now to uh, the page where I can start uh, adding my team members. With InstaWP, we also have another feature which I think is um, quite important and that is hosting. So if I come back over here and let's say all our staging websites here are done, I've, I've designed my website and I'm happy with it, I can come over here on this little uh, icon and click on go live and this now will give me an option to host my uh, website with InstaWP Live. So all this is under one umbrella. However, on um, ZipWP, they don't have that option, but once you've created your staging site, which uh, the list is over here, by the way, once you create your staging website, you would have to use a third-party plugin like WP Vivid to then um, move your website from zip wp here onto another hosting company so these are the different approaches that zip wp took uh, as compared to insta wp okay so moving on there's also another option here which i think is very important and this is also available on both platforms and that is the blueprints so let's say you design your website here you've added all the features that you need all the plugins it's a fully functioning website what you can do is you can create a blueprint from that actual website so what you need to do is to come over here click on these three little dots here and you can now create a blueprint from here just like that you give it a name and um, yeah you can give it a name here and a short description now what's really exciting about this option here as well is you can actually share this blueprint and 
give it away as a, you know something that you want to use to build your email list. So you can do it by coming over here on email collection here, and you can say uh, collect email, collect name, and send credentials to email. And then here is where you need to add your webhook. So this is uh, very exciting if you want to build your, your email list and also if you want to uh, share or even sell this design that you would have just created. And also here on uh, InstaWP, we have a similar option. So I can come over here to templates. So to create a template over here, you would just uh, make, let's say this one here is our main site. If I click on add new, I can then say from templates, and this is where all my templates are. So I can choose my template here and that's pretty straightforward. Now, if I come over here to the templates, what I can do also is I can monetize it. Now, this is really cool as well. You can monetize it. So you would come over here. You can also see your statistics on how everything is performing, which is pretty cool. Here we can go in and even uh, create more options for this page. So you can brand the actual landing page. Uh, you also have email connection, uh, collection similar to what we have with ZipWP. We also have uh, security here integrations and so on. So it looks like over here on InstaWP, there is quite a few uh, options as compared to ZipWP when it comes to uh, sharing or even uh, growing your email list with a blueprint website. So AI is a big thing, and I'm sure you can all agree with me that uh, when it comes to AI, majority of um, the load on building a website is taken off with uh, AI, and this is very, very important moving forward when it comes to designing websites. So over here, we have three options of creating our website with ZWP, and I think this is where ZipWP shines because AI is well integrated into the whole system. So here we can say build site with AI, if I click over here, this is where uh, our journey starts. You give your site a name. So let's call this a Mac site, for example. And then I can just call this uh, maybe local business and hit continue. So what you need to do here is give this a description. So I'm just giving it basic information here. But of course, you want to make sure that you uh, add more information here so the AI can um, produce even much more accurate information. So here I'm going to say improve with AI. And this now is going to give me a much better description. So you can see here, of course, it's saying it's based in uh, Austin, Texas. This is something I can go in and change and then say uh, based in London, for example. So you can play around with this. It's very, very easy to use. And uh, the description here already is quite good. But the one thing I like about this is I can go in and uh, simply remove information that I don't need and add whatever I need. You can use this as a starting point. Now, the next step here is also very exciting. If I click on continue, this now is uh, going to move on to the next step where I can get to add my email address, phone number. Now, this information here is going to be on the actual website. So again, I'm going to click on continue. And this is where now I can get to choose the images that I want to use for my website. So as you can see, I'm sure you can agree with me that this process here is very, very important. So let's say I choose this one here, that one. So these images are all royalty free, by the way. So I can use these without worrying about getting sued. So here I can go into development, for example. I can choose whatever images that I need. So it'll just continue loading up more and more images. So let's say I click on continue. This is where now we go to the next step, which is the design step. So there are steps over here on the left. So you can see here we have design, we have features and so on. So one thing I like about this as well is it's generating the uh, layout of our website. So this is super important when it comes to uh, designing your websites with AI, because this is already going to go in and design the layout for me. And then I can just choose from these, whichever I want. And when I mouse over it, you can see here that it's going through the actual design to show me what it looks like. Look at that. And all these are usable uh, designs. I really like uh, the way they look. They're very professional. And this could be a very, very good starting point. Now, because we used uh, those images from our Royalty Free website, we can actually then upload our own images and use those uh, and replace these ones that uh, the AI has chosen for us. But this uh, gives us a very, very good starting point. While we're still on the subject of AI, ZipWP has another AI feature, which is super powerful. So here we can build a custom site with AI. So if I click over here, I can enter my name. So here I'm going to say we are a web consulting agency based in London. So next I can just click on improve with AI. 
And this now is going to give us a much more detailed uh, description of my company. And sure enough, it has already gone ahead and done that. Now I can say generate sitemap. Now, do you notice that this is different to what we had before? Because before we had to go through these different stages, but this time this is designing a sitemap for us, suggesting all the pages that need to go on our website. And I think this is a very good approach and it's definitely a different approach. Now my sitemap is already done. You can see here, I can scroll through this and take a look at the pages that the AI has created for us. So here we have the homepage. And if you scroll further down here, we have the portfolio, the blog, the contact, uh, digital marketing service, and so on. But let's say I'm not interested in one of these pages. All I have to go in is to click on this little icon here and click on delete page. And then I can go ahead and delete it. Now, what's really cool about this as well is... I can have a look at my wireframe here because remember, this AI has created all this information for us. All these are different sections. So if I come over here on the wireframe, I can now truly see them and this is really, really cool. So what I can do here now is I can go in and do minor tweaks, which are adding maybe a slight color to my background or even just to change the text around. But this is still in the wireframe mode. We haven't gone on to the design stage yet. So what I can do here as i mentioned is i can click on this um, section here and i can come over here choose a totally different layout and when i hover over it it gives me an idea of what, it's, what it looks like so you can see here when i hover over it it's giving me an idea of what that's going to look like so let's say i go with this one here i can select it like that and then I can give it a background color as well. Now notice here at the top, we have options for a black a background color. And I can do the same. I can go through all these sections here and add a background color, which I think is really, really cool. Now over here, we notice that we have the about page. I can generate the page or I can go in and add section by section. So this is where I can decide what section I need to add onto that part of the website. So here I can say, okay, why choose us? So maybe that's what I want to add. And this gives me all the uh, options of the layouts of why choose us. So let's say I go with that one. I can use AI to give me a description, but I'm going to skip that. Or I can just generate the page. Now, the content that's being generated here is also content that uh, relates to the description that I gave, which is a web design agency. So the AI is clever enough to continue with all that information across the whole website. And this is what I really, really like about uh, this way of building your websites. InstaWP also has other features which are very exciting. So over here, they have a free plugin called InstaWP Connect. So if I click on install now, so this plugin here is a staging uh, plugin. So it allows you to create um, a staging site, which means that you can update uh, information on one website and this can be pushed over to your other website. So I think this is also a very good way of uh, working with your website. But this works on the InstaWP platform, of course. So I'm gonna click here on activate so you can just have a quick look and see what it looks like in terms of the interface. So I've already gone ahead and uh, activate activated it, I can now say uh, create staging site by just clicking over here. And now we have this interface. I can now connect with InstaWP. As I mentioned, this needs to be connected with InstaWP. Excellent. So now I'm connected to InstaWP. So now I can create my staging site by clicking over here. And now I'm given options of how I'm going to create this. So it's very, very easy to create my staging site. I can just choose quick staging. Now we also have other features here. So we can have a list of all the staging sites here. If I come on to manage, there's a few things that I can also do here with um, the file manager, the database manager, and so on. Now, what I really like about this is the sync but this is also in beta. So you can say start listening. So what happens now is if I make any changes to my current website, this feature records everything. And then if I come on this tab, it will ask me whether I want to push that update over to my staging site. So this could be maybe adding a page, removing a page, deleting a plugin, adding a plugin, and so on. It will listen to everything and then allow you to go ahead and take action if you want to add it onto uh, the other site. The other feature that InstaWP has, which is super powerful, is the ability to uh, create a store and then sell your products through the store. So here you can go ahead and click on agree and wish to proceed. 
and you can actually create a landing page which has your um, products and you can sell them and actually make money. So these are the main features that you may want to look at if you want to choose between ZipWP and InstaWP. So the question now is, Okay, so which one do I recommend or which one should you choose? And this is a very tricky question because you have to consider which features uh, you want over the other. For example, let's say AI is very important for you and you'd like to build your website super fast and you also want to build them using Astra and Spectra because the team behind ZipWP is the team that is behind the most popular plugins in WordPress. I mean, like I said, you know, they are... Astra theme, Spectra, they also have um, Show Members, Showcard. I mean, there's a whole list of uh, plugins they create, and it's a very, very solid company. So by choosing ZipWP, it means that you are easily going to go into their ecosystem, which is full of things that work well together anyways. So that's one thing that you may want to consider. With InstaWP, it also gives you the ability of building your websites fast using any platform. So, for example, you can choose whatever theme you want during the process. And you can also choose plugins ahead of time. If that's something that's uh, really cool for you and that makes you design your websites fast, well, that's something that you may want to choose. Secondly, you also have a staging plugin and you also have a plugin that allows you to move your websites from one domain or one hosting company to another hosting company. Again, that's a free tool. But of course, you can balance that out with also other third-party tools that can also do that. But here's the thing. InstaWP is offering it for free and it works really, really, really well. So as you can see, there are certain things that you can choose from one over the other. If you don't care about Insta, uh, about uh, AI, then you can just build your websites with either of these two platforms and everything should work fine. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.